this is straight from the streets. So I'm in this town and uh, we are looking for a place to refill water. So the first day we go around town, uh, I'm told there are two spots for refilling water. So we go through the two spots, both of them are closed. It's a major holiday, so we understand probably they're closed because we, we are going through the holiday. The following day, we are still looking for a place to refill water. So we go to the two spots, they're still closed. This one is a minor holiday, kind of holidays that look like extended holidays. And so there is no water, right? And so I look at this town and I, I realize this town looks bigger than, you know, being able to be, uh, to be supplied water by two spots that are close to each other. So we try to uh, drive to the other end of the town and we can't figure out a place. So I remember a friend of mine who, you know, used to live in this town. So I give him a call and I ask him, hey, dude, I'm looking for a place to refill water. So the guy gives me a plug. The guy gives me a name of someone. Happens that that is a prominent person. So we drive to the first location where we thought that, uh, you know, the guy's premises were located. And we get there and the place looks like uh, it's a deserted place, looks like uh, some, some garage that is deserted. Uh, there are some stalled vehicles and looks like nothing is happening. So we enter the place and uh, turns out that uh, the place is actually running, only that they're not doing water, but it's, it's, it's a business for the same person that we were referred to. But in this particular place, they are processing milk. So, you know, we check around and uh, that's when I learned that that place used to be a very big uh, milk processing plant uh, that has died over time, but the plant is still there. Uh, they're still running, you know, a few things, but really on a very small uh, scale. But that is not the problem. So we ask them about the water and uh, we are told that the water is bottled at uh, the owner's home, which is... Uh, about a kilometer away from where we were. So we drive again to the guy's home. So we get to the compound and um, the place is uh, also looking a bit deserted. There is no one to open the gate, so we open the gate for ourselves. Then we get into the compound. Uh, we are hooting, no one is coming out. All the houses don't seem to be having someone. Uh, so when we're just about to give up, that's when um, a certain old man walks out. Turns out he's the owner of uh, you know this entire enterprise. He asks us how he can be of help to us. We describe what we are looking for. So he tells us that he'll look for someone who will help us. He refers us to the factory, the water processing plant. So inside that compound, uh, turns out that there is a water processing plant. Okay, so we go to where the factory is, and that is when I meet what, you know, caught my eyes. The guy has a full-fledged water processing plant that, uh, you know, purifies water. The guy does refilling, the guy does bottling, and the guy does labeling. Okay, the guy is not talking about it. It is not branded. He's not advertising it. Is so laid back. The guy is sitting on potential. And I looked at this business and I started asking myself, how many business people are sitting on potential like this? I know to set up that kind of um, plant is expensive. I looked at this guy and I started wondering whether this guy has actually broken even, uh, or because I was not able to understand exactly. I wish I had time to, you know, just sit with him. But before then, I want you to help me think about those of us who are sitting on assets we started, we bought for business, investments that we are not uh, optimizing. Because as we were going through this, I was telling myself there is potential here for someone to come up with a reliable water refilling business. But here is someone who has equipment, but 
looks like you know they've gotten enough money or they're not interested or they don't have the skills or things like those i don't know if you have ever met people who you feel are sitting on potential sometimes you want to tell yourself i wish this guy just lent me this you know equipment or this machine for a short while you know for me to just to just do things uh, there is how you can sense that there is some some kind of sleeping happening and, and, and you would wish that these people just wake up. That is the kind of, you know, feeling I found myself having. Uh, I, I don't know. You tell me in the comment section whether you have encountered a situation like that where you meet people who have heavily invested, or maybe you are one of those. You bought an equipment, uh, put a lot of your money in, into it, but then uh, you, 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 you have not optimized it. You've not really put it into, uh, into serious use, into, into maximum use. I actually learned that one of the two points from, you know, the two that we were looking for uh, the previous day and, and, and even this particular day actually belonged to him. Let me know what you think about it.